So we have Matt Tilly, who is our host retention manager, and he's just going to um, briefly go through some of our services that we have. Um, if you have any questions about any of this, um, just reach, you can reach out to Matt if you're in the host, if you're school, you can reach out to your program manager as well. Um, we would love to support you in every way you need. So Matt, why don't you, why don't you kick us off? All right. Those are three very big shoes to fill, but I will try my best. And, uh, before I get into it too much, I just wanted to say, since we had moved a few years ago, we moved to having more virtual support. Uh, these three individuals that spoke today have been really active and really took advantage of the resources that we do offer. And uh, so I just wanted to add that we do have a lot available um, virtually that we can offer, and I'll discuss that a little further. All right, so these are the four ways that we support students. So uh, we have our FEA, our care program, our local support coordinator, and then um, how we support host as they support you know, our students. All right, so the most important person for hosts and students is our FEA, our Family Education Advisor. Uh, this is actually one of our FEAs there, that's Joyce. Uh, she's a great FEA. And um, when we moved to more virtual support, we started using the FEA role more and they interact with schools, students and host, and they can speak their native language and English. So it really helps uh, build really strong relationships. And then they know the programs really well too. Um, so like I said, they're your main contact for the host and student. They'll speak with you guys, you know, our host and student more often and they'll uh, build that relationship. And then of course they're trained in a lot of different things, including conflict, re uh, I cannot speak, <laughs> resolution. And then um, also they do check in with hosts and students regularly. Some students are easier to check in with than others, right? But uh, you know, please encourage your students to take advantage of that resource. You know, the FEA really wants to help the student and help them grow and they do care about them. So they're a great person for them to be in touch with regularly. And then of course they monitor their grades. We don't want the host to have to worry about that, you know, as much. So um, our FEA team takes that on and they'll monitor their grades online. Most of them have access to the grade portal. So that really helps. And our hosts get a link to um, fill out a, a report about their students monthly. And the FEA will translate that and talk to the natural family about that. So it's really great, a great way to send pictures and kind of give um, that host or the natural parent a little idea of what's going on in the home. And then of course, they'll share important documents that hosts need while hosting like insurance and documents they might need as well too. So just a great resource. And then when we started having more virtual support, we really beefed up our care program. And we have a lot of opportunities for our students to learn, to grow, and to get support. And I think the two students that you heard from today are perfect examples of that, right? Even, especially Jennifer, she's since gone on to college, but she's still really active with our host and our students. And she um, has helped us develop our program. And she just started out, you know, in the first student council class, right? And she moved on to an intern with our company while she's in college. So uh, we do have a lot to offer. And I think she's a great example of that. Um, but first we have our Cambridge uh, Up Library. And we have a bunch of different uh, videos and classes and webinars about different topics to help students learn new things about, um, you know, being an international student, you know, from topics like plagiarism or making new friends, you know, things like that, things that can be really important, more soft skills that are important for international students. And then uh, we have monthly classes that uh, students can learn different soft skill topics and those are always really fun and then we have a lot of virtual events and this year we are having um, our student council be a little more involved with 
this and they're planning some of these virtual events. So we're really excited about that. And uh, we're excited to see what you know they ideas they have for our students. And then of course, our student council, we are most proud of that program because it really gives students the opportunity to get experience as a leader. And then also, you know, to meet other international students from around the world and then around the states too. We've got like Jennifer, she was from Seattle. She was working with people, or near Seattle, working with uh, people from you know, Virginia and other places. So it's really cool that they can connect and uh, it's fun to see them build those friendships too. And then of course, we've got our new care advising program which I love. It's a great way for students who are struggling with different issues and it's one-on-one -on -one support. We have a few people from our Cambridge team that have volunteered their time to help out with students and just kind of be someone for them to talk to and give advice. And so that is a really awesome program. And then lastly, we have our leadership cohort, you know, where students can learn more about being a leader, being an effective leader, and uh, these are great things, you know, they can add to their college applications too. All right. Now, when we did move virtual, we realized that we still need to have that local person because there's a lot of things that come up uh, with, um, you know, hosted. And I see we have a lot of people from Waco. We do have someone coming out uh, later this month. So keep an eye out uh, for your emails. Um, they will be coming out to check with you and the students and the school. So we're excited about that. Uh, but yeah, our local support coordinator, our LSC, they are the US-based support for emergencies, right? Things happen when you're hosting. And so we have that person that we can reach out to if you know a student breaks their leg or you know something like that. So we always do have local support ready to help you. And they will be hosting some in-person events. We're starting to kick off. We had a couple earlier this year. Uh, we had a trip just recently, actually, to Niagara Falls, some of our students who are from uh, the New York area. So that was really cool. Uh, we've had you know events to Broadway shows. So we have a lot of really cool things, depending on the area that we do still offer for international students. And then, of course, most importantly, the LSC will come in once per semester to check in on the student just to make sure you know, everything's okay and uh, that everyone has the support that they need. That's a little bit about our local support coordinator. All right, and then lastly, of course, the most important support system is our host. And we do our best to support the host and educate our host and one way we do that is through our host helpline. If you ever need anything that the FEA in China cannot help you with, and you need something during the day, please call the helpline. Uh, we're always happy to help out and uh, you know, support you in any way. You always have someone to talk to. And then of course, we send out a monthly newsletter uh, about a variety of different topics. You know, this one, Previous one, we talked about the upcoming or the holiday, current holiday, the Mid-Autumn Festival, and a little bit about some of the traditions. And uh, we always have some good uh, tips for helping you uh, in throughout your hosting experience. And then, of course, I haven't added this. I forgot to add this one, but we do have a Facebook community. And I know we have a few people who are a part of that. Amy is, is on there too, and I know I've got a couple others. Um, I think our Facebook community is really helpful. If you look on Facebook, it's just Cambridge Host Family Community, I believe. Uh, and there's a bunch of hosts on there. We post some important things. Uh, if, if you like social media and you like getting your information that way, that's a great place to, to get information and to be able to interact with some other hosts too. Uh, we're looking forward to kind of building that community up a little more too. Um, so that's a really good way where we are adapting to the social media age and trying to get more information out to our hosts. And then, um, of course, we have our education uh, program that we have for hosts. Now, leading it would be our webinars. So about every month, we have a different topic that we talk about, whether it be taxes or uh, going over rules, things like that, that help, might help host 
um, learn and to you know make a better experience for themselves and for their students. And then those webinars always go on our host portal. So we have a really great host portal. You can see the picture there. We have tons of different videos and trainings um, to you know to help you if there's something you're going through or uh, maybe you have a question. There might be a video there that can be. And then. Of course, uh, every year we have our orientation. So at the beginning of the school year and then in the middle of the school year for, for new students, we have orientations. This year we started doing the student and host orientation together, which I thought was really awesome. It was, uh, I think it was just overall a better experience to have both together to learn about important topics. And I think it helps hold everyone like accountable too. So it was a really fun um, thing and we're looking forward to continue that. And uh, I saw a lot of you guys were there, so we appreciate that. And then lastly, uh, we're always looking for ways to improve. So if there's a topic that you know that you think would be really helpful, please let us know. We want to know, we want to offer things that you guys need. So uh, we're always open to that.